No, we, 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 went, we, went, we, went down, we went down here. Oh, he's, he's, he's gone, he's gone. We, oh, the, the, the cursor, yeah, the, the arrow. He's booting, he's booting. booting. Yeah. <laughs> he's booting, guys. <laughs> Okay, I tried running draw and that dropped us into the SWAT debugger. So Okay, we might have a looks like memory problem looks or like something. Draw catastrophically failed with something. Boom, crash, okay. So we captured a crash, okay. hopefully. So, now of course it's Okay, so I'm seeing it stepping fetching sixty six forty seven, which is the the jump to ground instruction. And then 61010 is the opcode, so that this is all making sense so far. So it's jumping to microcode RAM? Um, yeah. So here's the jump to microcode RAM instruction. So we're at what, minus 34, and then we come back at 6655. Five. <coughs> yeah. Okay, it looks like it's. Yeah, here, here's the problem. So 6655. Five, holds two, which is the number of arguments in this jump mm -hmm. to subroutine instruction. Yeah. So after jump RAM, we're returning here and executing the two, two. which gives us PC of two, which loads the... So it's one of those things that forces bits into the address. So it's... Oh. So it looks like it's, it's kind of just off on its return address. Right. Yeah, it's buried in there. So remove your little cables. Then you have to push the things in. Wait. Oh, yeah. Right, and for once I have the uh, I had this time the an HP equivalent in my collection. So I'm going to try an exchange. Um, so long story short, here we uh, think we jumped to the wrong bank of memory, which crashes our program, and so we need the mem one of the memory decoder chip is this one. Okay. The problem is that when we should be jumping to 
one part of RAM microcode, we jump to some part of ROM microcode. And the parts responsible for this are on the main board, and uh, we, that's the chip we just replaced. I didn't do it. Uh, but uh, here are the schematics. That's the chip we did replace, and there is a PROM decoder here. And uh, we have to look at all the signals. And of course, we always have a pod left on the logic analyzer. And uh, we wired all the chips. Um, so trying to find out what's wrong. Um, yeah, so now we're looking bit by bit. Oh, but that logic circuitry, you can see. You've broken them completely out. Yeah. Actually, minus 29 is when the SW mode is triggered. So we would like to see the output change at that point. Well, the input certainly changes. Okay, so here's one of the outputs. I have to go. Let's see. PC11 and PC2. Yes, it does. Right there. I mean, 28. PC2. Yep. Yeah. No, 29. That's 29. So we moved on to the next page of the schematic because our select is apparently doing right and we are trying to watch it across the latch. And that is yet another probe over here. So we, we moved a little bit around and uh, switched chips until we lost our signal and we see it not coming out of this guy, which is a 2 to 1 selector. Ah. Okay, so on the bench it goes. It's not coming out. Mm -hmm. And we can see a little like trying to lip. Yeah, so so here we are looking at our, our circuit. That's the in, and that's the select, which should transfer it into the out, but it's not. So it looks like if, if the test is good, then the chip is defective. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Unless, try so it's, it's this, uh, this chip over there. We, we tested it statically and it worked, but Remember, it dynamically, static, dynamically right? it doesn't work. Right. Okay, let me see if I have another one of these. So this is getting more and more acrobatic here, uh, where we are uh, thinking the chip is good, but the output may be grounded uh, by the next chip or somewhere else in the circuit. So we bend it out and I'm probing directly on the chip output which is now not connected to anything and see if that comes up as requested. Uh, yep. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. yeah, and Pin it works. Ground. Yes! Pin grounded. Whoa, that's no, something's bad. That's a silly failure. So when, when we ungrounded the, the, when we took the pin out of the socket, now it works. So somehow something grounds it permanently in the circuit. Okay, well, now we need to find out what it is. So Has to be the prom. Mm -hmm. Could be prom the chip. Prom, could be the traces, you know, the short on the back, you know, on the, on the PC board. Just yeah, it could, could be, it could be a circuit. short somewhere, yeah. So continuity testing on the board would yeah. be a good next step. For yeah. The, Okay, so I uh, just went from the pin uh, here and went under it in the socket to ground on the other side and it's you know, 0.5 ohms which is the resistance of my wire so which means basically that 
pin is grounded where it should not, or the socket is right. grounded where it should not. So let's pull the prong. Pull out. the prong and see if the prong is the one responsible for that. Mm -hmm. Where's so the little puller? It goes to a prong. It's over there. Right there. Which one is it? Which is the prong? Which is the prong? It's oh, it's underneath my socket. Is this one or this one? It's the one with is the this one with sticker that says SW1. Yeah, it's the one we were probing, right? So that's this guy. This guy. Okay. And it's still grounded. Good. It's not the prom chip. Yeah, that would be good, right? It's a good thing. Okay. Okay, so I'm tempted to look at the board itself. We pull the board out to look if there is a short on the back. And it turns out. We're not sure there is, but there's something interesting on the pin we were testing. There has been a rework and it goes off somewhere. So maybe that's the somewhere that was uh, grounding us. And sure enough, now I redo the same test. Uh, maybe you can pull the meter, the meter in the field of view. I redo the same test and now it's not grounded. Yeah, we can see it. That's very good. So, it is grounded, but it was grounded by something that goes off the board. Off the board. Off the cable. So, I think that's for next episode. <laughs> right, so I'm going to do the, the opposite experiment, put it back and, and see if, like, if we put the cable in, it grounds it. So, go ahead, plug. Yeah, that sure would do it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. So it could be, could be our own doing, right? Could be the test cable that's the problem. Oh, I wish we could oh, test right. because I could pull it out and put the original cable in. Right. Right. I'm gonna do that. So we're going to see if it's our own <coughs> doing. We put the boards back, and <coughs> that's the original cable, <coughs> not the one I made that served us well. But man, if I made it, oh no, that's not me. The same thing. Good. Zero. <coughs> yeah. Excellent. All right. Okay. So that's not us. There's something wrong with the boards themselves. 